Welcome back to Vault 33. Okay, so 88% happiness and some caps. But first things first, what do we got to do? That's right, it is time to begin the clickathon. Okay, oh my goodness, that is a lot of max specials that I'm seeing. Five at least. Six, seven, okay. We're going to have a lot of dweller moving to do once we've collected all the specials. Okay. Right. First things first, we've got all the guys in the bar. Now, what about this chap here? Strength and agility, so anything else he can go to. And we've just kicked somebody out of the endurance room. Okay, not helpful. And now a feral ghoul attack. Fantastic. Just when I'm trying to adjust things... We get some feral ghouls. Right, well, you've got a train gun. No, it's you that's got the railway master, so up you go. Okay, not entirely sure which dweller is where now in relation to the training rooms, but hey, hey, it is what it is. Okay. Right, you are max on strength and perception, so anything else other than strength and perception. Let's have a look at the ghouls, see how we are doing with killing them. Okay, there are only two left. One left, and I presume he's going to insta-die. Come on. Yep, dead. Okie dokie. Right, their health hadn't actually recovered from the previous incident, uh, but that's fine. Uh, their health is at 90% plus health, so that's fine. Right, these guys are charisma and nothing else. So what about you? Uh, let's actually check. No, let's just drag you down. Why not? Okay, and now we've got to make sure that we actually drag the right dude. There we go, put him into the games room. Right, what about you? So you can now go down to charisma, as can you. And we've got you up with strength and perception, so we can drag you down to a, another room. So you can go to charisma. Okay, right. I think we've dealt with all of our max specials. Fantastic. Everyone is now settling into their new training rooms. And we've got some more dwellers to bring in from the wasteland. Uh, so we now have plus eight. Uh, we do need to get some more people into the vault. Don't worry if you're someone who has requested to be in the vault and you're still on my waiting list. I will be adding more viewers in future episodes, so have no fear. And eventually, depending on the number of people that continue asking to be added to the vault, of course, Either the majority, some of you, or none of you will get into the vault. Now, some of you, of course, I'm not going to forget to do it. But next thing, we need to blow up this power room. So, let's let these dwellers come out and collect power. There we go. And what we're going to do is we are going to demolish the room. Okay, so destroy for 300 caps. Yes. And now, look, our power bar's gone back to the right-hand side. That's fine, because we are now going to build another triple-wide nuclear reactor. That's right, our second nuclear reactor has now been constructed. So we got rid of the previous power room. Now what we need to do is drag some dwellers back in again. Strength three, really? Oh, and there's the sound of the mysterious stranger disappearing. Okay, right, I think that's probably what we want to do is we want to fully stack the nuclear reactors. Uh, the reason being, of course, that they produce the most power. Uh, so having the other rooms with barely any dwellers in is completely fine. Not an issue. Okay, right. Quest time. Truth among the ashes. Search Vault 333 for clues. Okay. Get your game faces on. It's time to kill some enemies. Or collect some shiny, rare recipe, and a theme fragment. Lovely. Okay, next room. Okay, still nothing to attack. This is confusing. Okay, right, caps. Another empty room with just some shiny. This is too easy. Okay, down we go to the next level. Let's see what's what. Big room or little room? It's a little room, and it still has nothing in it. Wow, okay. Oh, finally we've got something to shoot at. Albeit it's just rad roaches, so it's insta-murder. Dead, dead, dead. No corpses. Even more disappointing. Okay, let's click the shiny and carry on. Another empty room with some shiny. Okay. Mole rats. Oh, and a broodmother. Okay. 
something to actually test our metal. Dead. Okay, come on, guys. Let's get this brood mother finished before she calls in reinforcements. And dead. There we go. Any corpses? No. Ooh, double level ups. And a nuke cola quantum. Nice. Okay, down we go to the next floor. Although, I will say, I do have a fairly vast supply of Nuka Cola Quantums. Okay, more mole rats. Time for some insta murder. No outfits yet for the leveling up. Although, to be fair, both of those outfits do give a fairly good endurance boost. Now, what we can do is Maximus's outfit gives E plus 4, so which is a good boost. So we can level him up, take the outfit off, take off the ghoul's outfit, put the power armor on, and put him back into his outfit. There we go. And there you go, Maximus. Okay, we're ready to go. Didn't even need a power armor rack there. We just stuffed the power armor into our pockets. Ooh, Brian and Hyde. Nice. Next room. And more mole rats. Insta murder time. Two dead, three dead. Any corpses? <gasps> yes. Another theme recipe fragment. Lovely stuff. Into the next room we go. Okay, cabs collected. It's a bit of an odd layout. That's fine. We probably would have been better going left side and then right, but we're going to have to come back again. Uh, again, nothing in here. Wow. Okay. A magnifying glass. Exciting. A completely empty room that doesn't even have shiny in it. That is just painfully disappointing. Okay, down we go to the next room. Really? Okay, aha, it's the Journal of Overseer Patel. Hmm, what's that passage? Had an interesting visitor. Paula Plumkin. She headed out to visit Vault 909. Well, guess what? That's uh, another destination that we're going to have to go to. Oh, nice. T60 pistol. Wonder glue. And some caps. 705. I don't feel that we're going to breach a thousand, but we can hope for the best. More rad roaches. More commonly known as cannon fodder. Dead, dead, dead. Any corpses? Yes. Can we see it? Yes. We clicked it. Nice. 900 caps. I may have spoken too soon. Okay, more rats. Let's get them murdered. Dead, dead, dead. And... Another theme recipe fragment. Okay, we've got one room to go, I think. Ooh. Is what I said going to hold true, or are we going to get more than 100 caps from this room? Hey, 1,068 caps. Nice. Well, guys, you're pretty much full on the health side, but we'll give you a stim pack anyway. And off we go. Let's return to the vault. Three theme recipe fragments, sneak color quantum, to return them quicker. Even though it wasn't much of a return journey, I've got 94 Nuka Cola Quantums. Horror Fan Outfit, nice. Institute Diner Fragment, another Institute Diner Fragment. Railroad Living Quarters Fragment, oh, only two to go. Boz Living Quarters, only two to go. Lovely stuff. We will have to craft them, of course, once we unlock them. There we go, right. Of course, we still have to do the uh, Vault 33 Living Quarters as well. Uh, that is another one that we haven't done yet. So, time for some leveling up. Sheriff's Duster, which is E plus 5, of course, which is uh, second best to the legendary outfit, which is E plus 7. Uh, sturdy Wasteland gear for you. Back into your outfit, which was, of course, military fatigues. So, there we go. Same for you, my dear. Dorothy Cox, level up and back into your military fatigues. Lovely. Okay, do we do another room? Yeah, let's do another room. Okay, so Sheriff's Duster for you. There we go. And back into the outfit that you were wearing, or something better. A handyman jumpsuit. There we go. Sheriff's Duster, level up. Back into handyman jumpsuit. Agility, plus three. Okay. Again. Oh, and now we've got a death door attack. Fantastic. Just as our quest squad are literally entering the vault, the death claws are coming in at the same time. And our quest squad are just like, yeah, whatever, it's fine. But we can put the ghoul into the room because he already managed to get into the vault. And what we should be able to do is to drag one of these guys as well 
And Lucy, we can then drop somewhere else, maybe. Uh, let's put her into the radio room. There we go. Although she may not get there in time now. But these death claws should drop much quicker. Oh, come on, seriously. I think I've just dragged Maximus twice. There we go. Down you go. We've still got three death claws. That's fine. Okay. Second room. Yep, Lucy never made it. Don't even know where she is. Oh, there she is there, finally walking across the top floor. And we randomly get another day's bonus for our caps while we're getting raided by Death Claws. Nice. Okay. Lucy, we're going to drag you down. I don't know if you're going to make it downstairs in time, but our food supply is being demolished. Two Death Claws dead. Good old Ma June there with the Ripper shredded those Death Claws. Only one left. I uh, think it's going to die pretty quickly in here. Multiple gauze rifles and a minigun. Come on, just die already. You're going to die. There we go. One dead death claw. Nice. Let's give them some health back because they did actually take a little bit of a pummeling. Uh, Maximus, let's have a look at you. Yep, we'll give you a stim pack as well. There we go. And we will send our crew out on another quest, of course. So the question is, which one do we go with? Uh, we've got Boogie Woogie uh, Bugle Boy, so we are near the end of that quest series. We've got Clearing a Path as well, but that requires level 20, and it's fire support at the Machine Parts Factory. We will leave that one for a while. Uh, or we could do another Paula Plumpkin quest, of course. No, let's do Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy. Okay, Maximus, the Ghoul, and of course Lucy. We have to use the Fallout TV crew. And I tell you what, guys, I am counting down to Season 2. Uh, especially with, I don't know if any of you know, but a new um, short uh, came onto the Fallout TV series. So if you have Prime and you watch the Fallout TV series, go and check it out. It's a new short animation that shows you Voltec HQ, Mother and father and a load of other stuff as well which could potentially be a hint at season two uh, we don't know for sure of course but i think there's going to be a lot of build up between now and season two and they may potentially release uh, a lot of maybe uh, cartoons additional cartoons let's do a rush there we go successful lovely and let's rush this one as well. I know it's a 37% chance, but fingers crossed it's going to be successful. Yes, bonus time. Nice. Okay, now, our quest squad seems to be dismembered. Part of them are sitting outside, not walking into the wasteland, because they're waiting for the ghoul, who is locked inside the vault, apparently. Right, okay, we only have three people in here, uh, but let's do some more leveling up. Okay, back into what you were wearing. So, handyman outfit, where's it gone? And of course we've got that wedding dress as well. Now, I had a question about Legendary Dwellers. There is another Fallout TV show Legendary Dweller that was added that is not part of the questline. And it is Lucy's brother, Norm. Now, the question would be, I'm presuming the only sources of obtaining Norm are going to be from lunchboxes, as I can't foresee any other way unless they introduce some more quests that we're going to be able to get Norm, as we're just equipping all of our dwellers here with weapons. So Norm is another legendary dweller, which I found relatively interesting uh, to find out, because there are now 35 legendary dwellers in total. So a load from Fallout, uh, a load from Fallout 3, uh, a load from Fallout 4, of course, and other various characters. There's some New Vegas characters as well. Um, but again, there are now 35 legendary characters. So I'm just dealing out weapons here because it reduces our storage and, of course, gives everyone guns, uh, which is always handy to do. Because sometimes you do bring in loads of dwellers and you do forget to give them guns. Now we are down to the crap guns, that's fine. Just make sure, okay, no, BB guns, that's uh, that's a stretch. So we'll leave it at that. We're not going to give our people BB guns. I, I, I draw the line at the worst weapon in the game. 
the good old BB gun. Zero damage. I mean, could you imagine Death Claws coming into the vault and all your dwellers have to fight with is BB guns? It's, <laughs> it's the definition of pointless. Okay, right. Well, we've done quite a bit. We've uh, built our second nuclear reactor, done a quest, of course, and more besides, as well as getting raided by ghouls and death claws. So, just checking the vault. Okay. Now, we've still got quite a few dwellers to level up, and even the floor that we did level up on already has more dwellers to level up. It's an endless journey, let's be honest. Uh, you do have to stay on top of it, uh, and at the end of the game, if you want a uber vault, you do have to kick most of these dwellers out anyway, but you need to ensure that you have a solid supply of uber dwellers at level 50. Okay, rad roach infestation, this should be dealt with relatively well, instantly even. And that's it, folks. All it leaves me to say, of course, is good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and from me, know it all gaming, good night, and see you on the next episode. And if you're not subscribed, why the hell not?